Hello friends, and welcome to Friday Night Files and another episode of Demonologist. I've just been watching a little tutorial on this game. So now I know a little bit more of what I'm doing. So I guess this, hopefully, this episode will be a little more interesting than the first one. And I will tell you as we go what's up and what we're doing. So for now we only unlocked the abandoned house. So we can just jump straight in. Vote for a map. I'm the only one here so I'm choosing this one. <laughs> the only map that we have for now. So in the earlier episode we didn't have a flashlight, but we do. The thing is, we can only hold three items at a time. So we are definitely bringing the flashlight. And we are bringing the EMF meter. And, and the ecto plasma thingy. Luckily we can have the flashlight out and still use these items. But we cannot take a fourth item with us. Oh, and we have the canva as well. But the first thing we have to do is find out where in the house the ghost is located. And all ghosts uh, do a set of the EMF meter here. But that's what we are using to locate the ghost and we can see stuff now <laughs> how awesome is that and the reason we couldn't have lights that they were bursting is because we, we can only have so many lights on at a time and when we have I don't know is it four or five lights on then all the rest will will burst you know Hello? What's this music? Let's try and locate. I can hear voices in here. Is it from the TV? Okay. What sets this game apart from from Phasmophobia, this one got a lot more jump scares to it, which I love. And here we have to burn the fingers when we have that as... But I don't think we have that as our um, secondary objective. No, we have to do that to exor exorcise the ghost out of here. We don't have to do it, but we'll get more points. I guess the ghost is not in the basement. Let's get back upstairs. And the scariest thing is, we don't have any crucifixes. So if we have an aggressive ghost and get haunted by it, we have to get the hell out of this house. Because it will kill us. And if it kills us, Okay, well now we don't have any money, so we won't lose any money or the equipment, because we only have the basic equipment still. So where the F is this ghost located? We should set off the EMF meter, then we locate it. Do you want to play with me? Okay, we can hide in the closet. I don't know if we can hide in there, if we get haunted or something. So we, I think one of our objectives was to 
Turn all the cruise fixes the right way. These are all turning the right way. So I suppose it's not those cruise fixes it means. There might be some more around here. Is the ghost in here? Was in here for a second. You know? Does it move around? I don't know. Might do. Oh, we had a scary encounter in here. In the first episode. Oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I'm not sure if that means that the ghost in here, because that's the same thing that happened last time. Holy crap, that scared me again. <laughs> Hello? Because the EMF meter is not going off like constantly in here. Where is it? I think it might be in here. Or is it this thing setting it off? I don't know. Are you in the library? Magna. Who's Magna? Magna? Okay. So I guess the ghost is in the corridor. It is. Okay, so we got EMF meter on it. Now we can drop it. Oh, and then we can go and get some more um, equipment. Hello? But we have to get it up to EMF meter 5, level 5. So, uh, that is not evidence. It's just to locate the ghost. Let's find our way back to the tent. And get our uh, spirit box. Maybe we'll get the ghost to answer. And this thing... We are looking through that glass thingy there, and we should see, you know, some stains. Let's bring this. So we are limited to three items at a time. Let's see if we can ask some questions. This ghost? Oh, Jesus! Holy crap, you scared the shit out of me, man. Holy moly. So I don't really get the layout of this house yet. So I can't really remember <laughs> how we got to... Uh, we are here. What is your name? Are you friendly? Are you a good ghost? What is your name? Are you here? Am I alone? Hello? Are you here? Oh! oh. I think we are getting haunted. Let's get the hell out of here. If he catches us, we die. I think we might die. Oh, the door is... The door is closed. I can't get out of here. Hello? And we're dead.
And now we are a ghost. So that's the gist of it. We don't have any crucifixes and we can't afford any. So we have to, you know, hold up the crucifix and the ghost will eat it. And then we, then we can open the door and get out. But we can't buy a crucifix. We, <laughs> we have no money. Damn it. So this is the thing, we have to find the correct ghost, we get money for that, and XP. And I guess this changes every time, because I don't think we have performed ritual on the pentagram before. So, let's get back in there. The correct ghost was a yokai. Start. Okay, we have to select the map again. I'll choose this one, because that's the only one we have. So it will be really difficult until we get some money, you know. <laughs> if it, if we get hunted, we're dead. Do I have a UV light? I guess we have a UV light, and also the canvas. I think we should bring in the canvas first, because I, uh, I saw in the tutorial that uh, it takes the longest to get to get that evidence well, where do we have a UV light? I don't know I have no clue do we even have it? I don't know let's take the EMF and that's all we can carry for now oh. using the EMF is the best way of locating the ghost let's get back in here you leave lights on in the kitchen I think that's the only light we will keep on, so we'll easily find <laughs> find it. I think that music comes on every time we come in here. I suppose. And those voices. Hello? So this is where the ghost were, was the last time. It's not in the library. Oh, will that creepy woman come jumping at, at, us, again, at us again? Where is this damn ghost? Could it be in here? The workshop? Yep, it's in the workshop. Definitely in the workshop. Okay. Let's put the easel down. Right there. Hey, can we get this up to... Is it up? Oh, it's a five. We have... We have evidence. EMF meter level five. But that leaves us some ghost that could be... It could be a boogie. <laughs> Let's get some more stuff. Some more equipment. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. And we can only run so far oh there's an upstairs as well but we know where the ghost is let's see if we can find ectoplasma I suppose and maybe the spirit box I can only hold the flashlight 
and two other equipment. Let's take this one and this one. Let's get back in there. Hopefully we don't get, don't get hunted. <laughs> Because that just means we are dead. As long as we don't have any crucifixes, you know? And I think the crucifixes are like... Like two thousand dollars or something. They're expensive. Are we going the right way? Oh, we're supposed to go in here, right? Yep. Let's see if we can find any. Oh! Any ectoplasma in here? Let's turn on the light. Because that will help with our sanity. So I don't see any ectoplasma, and it hasn't written on our easel. Are you here? Are you friendly? What is your name? Are you here? Are you friendly? Oh. I don't know what is said, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Get some more equipment. We got more evidence. Spirit box response. So let's get the ESG thingy. Holy crap, this game is scary as F, man. <laughs> uh, I should have dropped this. But I only, but I think we can. We only have the ESG left, yeah? Of equipment. So we could... Okay, the ectoplasma is not gonna be a thing, because that leaves out all the ghosts. I've, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a boogie. Ghost could also be an abaddon, but I haven't seen any... frozen stuff still. But also I could leave the easel and fingerprint. Or could it? Yeah, we can leave this one out. Okay, fingerprint we can leave out. Easel we can't leave out. Freezing temperatures, no. So it could be one of these three. Easel, freezing temperature, or ESG. So let's bring in the ESG. I want to have some crucifixes, please. <laughs> Here we go. And what we are supposed to see on this one, it will like capture the ghost in like a T pose for a few seconds. This way, right? And in here, yeah. Here we are. Let's leave that there. Oh, it has drawn on. Oh! Please don't kill me. Are we haunted? I think not. But I think we figured out what kind of ghost this is. Oh, we've gone the wrong way. Please don't haunt me. Please don't haunt me. I want to get out of here. I think we are safe when we are out here. So we got an easel. So it's a yokai. You know it's a yokai. And as we get killed, if we get haunted, we won't do the secondary objectives. We are going out of here and take the money. Let's 
Let's get a hell out of here. We know what ghost it is. So let's read about the ghost. We'll do that every time we we find out what a ghost is. So it was a yokai. It is known as a ghost that is extremely sensitive to the concept of time. It is very punctual. Time is everything for it. When you encounter a yokai, it may be your last time if you don't take the time into consideration. Strengths? It will be, it will be very active between 6 and 8 and 10 and 12 o'clock. It will hunt at least once between 1 and 8 o'clock. Weaknesses. It will be calmer. So we have time. Okay. So it will hunt between 8 and 10. What time is it now? Can we see that somewhere? Can we see what time it is? How do we see what time it is? I don't know. Do we see it here? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, you know what? I don't care. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> right now. Let's get a hell out of here. Yep, confirm. Now we should... Get some money. Yeah, we did. 900. Woohoo! How awesome is that, man? How much are the cruise fixes? We really need cruise fixes. Yeah, $2,000. <clears throat> Damn it. That sucks. Don't need flashlight, we have those. So, I don't know if we lose stuff, of those basic equipment stuff, when we die. So why should we buy flashlights? Oh, that is if we are, are a team of, you know, a team going in. But I'm playing solo. We could buy stuff for our safe house, but I'm not going to waste money on that. And we'll do that when we, when we have loads of money. So let's do another one. We did good on that one. Choose the abandoned house. Let's get back in there. Start. Yeah, so when we died earlier, we didn't lose any of this stuff. But where's our UV light? I haven't I haven't seen the UV light in uh, in here. Ah, this is the UV light. Okay. Uh -huh. I see it now. So we're gonna take a flashlight. Always. The EMF. And the easel, yeah. Yep. Because it will take some time before it draws on. Before it paints for us. And we can just put it down and we don't have to do anything with it to get it to paint on it. Let's get back in here. So tell me in the comments if you know what the ghost said. Because I couldn't hear it. I didn't hear what it was saying. Hello? Where are you little ghosty? Ghosty ghosty? We're back in here? No. So it's randomly generated every time where the ghost is and what kind of ghost it is. So this game got a lot of replayability. Do you want to play with me? No. Not not particularly. In the library? No? Or in the bedroom? 
Oh, oh, oh. oh holy crap. I haven't seen that one before, but it gave me the goosebumps. So I guess it could be upstairs. So where are those crucifixes they want me to? To turn the right way? I don't know. Let's go upstairs. We haven't been here before. Okay. There's no one in here. So this is all new territory. Turn on some lights. Now I don't think we can turn on more lights. There, there aren't even lights in the bathroom. Okay. It's a Ouija port. What can we do with the Ouija port? I don't know. I forgot to look at our secondary objectives. That might have something to do with the Ouija port. But now we know where it is. If it's coming to that, that we are doing some secondary objectives. Where's this ghost? Haven't we been in every room now? Holy crap, that scared me. <laughs> Haven't noticed that one before. Could it be down in the basement? Maybe. So there was a secondary objective to put some rats in the boiler. Oh, it's in here. It goes in here, man. Oh, where's that boiler to put the rats in? I don't know. But well, we found the ghost. So let's drop this. Put down the... Oh, shit. It's active. Let's get the hell out of here. Before we're getting haunted. <laughs> Jesus. Luckily, it's close to the entrance. Let's have a look when we get out of the tent. What our secondary objectives are. Come on, run, man. We could see that here, right? Collect the salt bags. So let's try and find some salt bags. Read the last note. Perform ritual on pentagram. Okay, so I don't know what we can use that. Um, the Ouija board. You can tell me in comments down below if you know. So let's try and see if we can, if the ghost is willing to speak with us. And if we can find some ectoplasma, ectoplasm stains. Also, when we have a camera, we can take photos of the paranormal stuff that's going on. That will give us some money as well. Oh, it's so scary down here. I don't want to go, I don't want to go down here. Are you here? Are you friendly? What is your name? Are you friendly? Oh, it's trying. What is your name? Hello, what is your name? Are you friendly? Are you here? Am I alone? Okay, so I guess the ghost is not speaking with us. Let's get a hell out of here. No, let's do... See if we can find some... Ectoplasma?
Doesn't look like it. Oh shit, this is scary, man. Oh, so level 5. Okay. Let's throw this. Now we have two evidence. I'm just running out before... <laughs> before... Uh, choosing the evidence because it's not safe in here. We get haunted. So I got EMF level 5. And we got easel drawing. So it could be a yokai again in the mirror. Or an Unreo. Okay, not Can we leave something out here? Yep. ESG will not be useful. Ectoplasma will not be useful. So what you are looking for are fingerprints. Or spirit box response. So it could be an Unreo or a Yokai. So let's get the UV light. Hopefully it's an Onryo this time. A new ghost. And let's see. Collect the salt bags. I haven't seen any salt bags. Or any note. Perform ritual on the pentagram. How do we do that? I have no clue. To exercise the ghost, we have to find Adnan and Harvey's five missing fingers and place them in the ritual area in the basement. So let's have be on the lookout for fingers. And there's no need to take the ESG. So we should be finding fingerprints. Or get spirit box response. And we didn't get any spirit box response. Maybe we should keep trying. If we don't find fingerprints. That is. Should be, should be seeing fingerprints somewhere, I suppose. To turn on the flashlight, maybe we'll see it better. Oh, I just thought that was a fingerprint. Oh, it should be in this room, right? Oh, we have fingerprint. Let's get a hell out of here. We know now that it's an unreal. And before we have any cruise fixes, we won't be staying longer than necessary. I'll take the money and go. <laughs> Until we have a couple of cruise fixes. Then after we guess what goes to this, we can do the secondary objectives and maybe do the exorcism as well. So, we know we got fingerprints, so it's an Onryo. Yep. Let's read about it, see what an Onryo is. Here it is. Unlike other ghosts, Oniros. Okay, it's not spelled the same. This Onryo and Oniro. And what is it? Are known as jealous ghosts. They can choose one person, fall in love with them, and then attack and attack anyone else. So I guess that's if you are a crew. They'll be much more aggressive if there are others with their chosen one. They will not harm the person they fall in love with. Right then. Let's get a hell out of here. Confirm. We take the money and leave. Now we have 1800, we can almost afford a crucifix. And that is definitely gonna be the first thing 
we are going to gather. So that will be all for this episode. If you liked the video, if you would like to see more of this game, leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below, give me some tips if you have any on this game. And if you know what that Ouija board is used for, because I have no clue. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye bye.